Welcome to Civil Share YouTube channel. Hi. In this video we are going to discuss the handwritten animated video basics for Pipe Rack Design Philosophy. Before that, please do subscribe to get more videos like this. Ok let's start Pipe Rack Design Philosophy. Introduction. Pipe Rack is the main artery of a process unit. It transports process, utility, piping, instrument, electric cable trays and equipment mounted vessels. It links all equipment with lines that cannot pass through surrounding areas. Major data required. Overall layout. Overall layout is basically an arrangement drawing that shows the equipment and supporting facilities like pipe racks, structures, buildings and roads that are required for the process facility within a battery limit. Process and instrument diagram P and IDs. P and ID is a graphical representation of a process system that includes the piping, vessels, control valves, instrumentation and equipment systems client specifications client specification is a document issued by a client that describes the requirements of a system and the expected services of a contractor construction materials main material that are used for construct pipe rack are structural steels and other process instrument and piping related materials Fireproofing requirements. Fireproofing, a passive fire protection measure, refers to the act of making materials or structures more resistant to fire. Statutory requirements. Piper Act construction should ensuring fall hazard risks and worker safety compliance with OSHA and CSA guidelines. Pipe Rack standards. Shapes. L. T. U. Shapes. Future space. 25%. Extra for future expansions up to 16 meters. 10%. Extra for future expansion above 16 meters. Piperac width. For single bay 6 meters, 8 meters. For double bay 12 meters, 16 meters, 20 meters, 4 tiers max. Spacing between portals, 6 meters in general. Piper Act clearance. 4 meters minimum, far on site. 2.2 meters minimum, far off site. Pipe Rack loading. Normally pipe rack loads shall be given by piping stress team. Sustained loads, dead. Weight of piping, valve and load insulation. Sustained loads, live. Liquid load for hydrostatic pressure test. Thermal loads. Load by thermal expansion of piping and reaction force. Dynamic loads. Modal response spectrum analysis. Vibration load. Load by vibration of piping due to wind and earthquake. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.